So there was one thing online a lot of people are talking about when it comes to this recent New Dawn trailer reveal, tag demo, whatever you want to call it, from 343. Let me play it for you real quick, and then we'll continue to talk about it. That I feel like of course, I've we have Unishek talking about I Halo. You have Chief of Staff Melissa Boone talking about Halo. And then you have Elizabeth Van Wyck also talking about Halo. So, nothing really too crazy, right? You have developers making Halo talking about Halo. What's so crazy about that? Well, it seems like a lot of people are upset about this one person in particular, and that is Melissa Boone here, who is chief of staff who's helping to make Halo. Now, why are people upset about this? I think it's mainly because of the way she looks. And that's really just because people have been actually citing like DEI, 343, I'm sorry, uh, Halo Studios has gone woke and things like that. It's kind of just one of those things where like, I think people just see someone who looks different than them, like this right here, and they instantly start screaming uh, diversity, equality, inclusion, and like the game's gone woke, stuff like go woke, go broke, and definitely enough of people within the community that have actually cited, started crying about this and to the point where even Halo Studios themselves have had to respond to the hatred to this, which is just ridiculous. Like if you, if I just go into my comment section right here on YouTube, I search up the term DEI. Now, not everyone in this comment section who said DEI is using it, you know, wrong. Like they might be quoting about people using DEI, but there's a good amount of comments mentioning DEI, or even also here as well, calling the game woke. Again, not every comment here. I just typed in the word woke, and this is how many times it came up in my most recent videos. And I don't even have that big of a channel, right? Like 40K subs, maybe get like five, 10K views on a video. Like that's not a whole lot. So like to have that many people referencing woke DEI, there's just, there's enough people out there where people are talking about it. Now, normally I try to avoid talking about this kind of stuff, Maybe because I just stick to the games, man, right? Like, that's what we want to talk about. But I think there's just so much of it online right now that we kind of have to talk about it. And I know a lot of people are kind of citing that uh, Melissa Boone right here. They keep saying that she has no experience in gaming. Why is she doing there? It's strictly because of what she is rather than who she is. And that's really honestly just not true at all. I've seen plenty of comments saying she has no experience in gaming and yet is the chief of staff over at Halo Studios. And I was like, okay, well, is this even accurate? Is this actually a thing? Like, could someone just get that high of a position with no experience whatsoever? Um, you might be surprised, but uh, that's not true. Um, <laughs> if I click right here on her LinkedIn profile, I know a lot of people out there are originally instantly just getting triggered by seeing a rainbow, dear God. But um, when you scroll down a little bit here, you can see what her experience has been. Since 2015, she's been a user researcher over at Microsoft, specifically saying, I am a member of Xbox research team, literally part of gaming. And even mentions Halo right here as well. So yeah, I've across done project research led on several tiles across Halo, Minecraft franchise, including Halo Wars 2, Minecraft Education Edition. And so she's already worked within Halo in third party form within Microsoft, but still like in gaming since 2015. Her next position, principal UI, a UX research manager, also Xbox first party games. Then in 2023, becoming the chief of staff over at Halo. Now, what does the chief of staff do over there? You know, help solidify people who come into the studio to work there, connect all the teams together. So that's just kind of like a person to help communicate and make things just flow better right over there rather than just having everyone on their own individual islands because let's be face it like not a lot of developers i know it's from personal experience are not the most communicative people right so you need someone out there who can help kind of connect all these teams together so we're all on the same page that's what the chief of staff is there for to help fill in the people for halo studios but then also can you help out with team communication and she's been doing that for nearly 10 years now at this point and for people to get that upset of her saying no game experience you know go woke go broke and all that kind of stuff i mean they just see the rainbow flag and they instantly get triggered bring this up as well when it comes to like the community director sketch talked about this on twitter now that's it kind of compelled me to talk about this because like i said i usually try to avoid talking about this kind of stuff because it's just just toxic behavior and just outside of the game which you know we're here to talk about games but we're terrible to hear about talk about halo studios 
This is what the community director said about this recent discussion online. Uh, saying that this time last week, we were all excitedly going into Halo War Championship this weekend. For three days, we're just going to go in and just have everything be awesome about Halo, basically. So it's a sharp contrast to the pockets of vitriol and bigotry we've seen over the few days. This app feeds on conflict in the name of engagement. Please don't give these hate mongers the attention they crave. Thank you to everyone out there keeping it positive, supporting each other, and showing the true side of the community, which is true. Most of the people out here in the Halo community or in gaming community as a whole are not for this type of discussion, right? Like people, most people out there are rather sensible. You know, they just go like, okay, that's another person who's different than me, if I guess, but like they don't go out trying to put this like hatred online. I mean, like it's kind of insane. It's just, like, just look at the uh, discussion when I type in like Halo DEI on YouTube, all these uh, channels right here are just straight up just like, of course you can see just Melissa Boone just plastered all over this because she's a person of color with you know purple hair dear god <laughs> you know how for, how dare she you know i guess there's some algorithms that are popping in here but like people have been just on top of her mainly of anybody else uh just quite crying dei and woke and basically just saying there's some hidden agenda that uh you know uh, halo studios has and it's just ridiculous man like this is just ridiculous like we don't even have anything about the game yet and people are already upset because I just people are just getting mad just to get mad, it seems like. And I think they just see something like this and they're like, oh, it's my chance to capitalize on some clicks, clicks right now. Because that's definitely part of this whole thing, right? Like a lot of people will jump in and make videos like this because they see an opportunity with someone that looks like this to be able to cry DEI, cry woke, you know, go full culture war warrior kind of thing on the whole, this whole subject of things. And it's just ridiculous, honestly, it really is. But then like, I think it's just for people just to monetize rate outrage. That's all it really is. It's not really meant to like help make Halo any better because we haven't seen anything about Halo Infinite or the next Halo game. Sorry, not Halo Infinite, but you know what I mean. I found this one profile online that's been going full, just anti, uh, I don't know what they're even against really, but they're just mad <laughs> or for outrage clicks. But it's this person right here and they put out this tweet right here, which I thought was hilarious. This has over 770,000 uh, views on just this one alone. She's been all about this kind of stuff saying a man's body versus a woman's body, trying to point out how like classic Mass Chief is much more like rigid and maybe like a little slimmer where like this Master Chief is a little more curvy, but like, first of all, the CE Master Chief is not proportionally accurate to a human, all right? It's a game that was made in 2001, where this is a game that's currently in development in 2024 at the moment. And even then, like I pointed out in my previous video, this uh, model right here was just a straight up uh, asset rip from Halo Infinite for the CE model that was in Halo Infinite. like. It's like, what are you trying to prove here? And also like, they go like far outside the lines. They try to really emphasize the curviness, but then like, they don't do the same thing. In fact, they kind of cut into the character as well here to kind of prove that like, it's more angular. Like, dude, there's like less pixels that you can have, less polygons you can have on the screen. So like, it's going to be more jagged and sharp edged compared to the modern day gaming graphics, which can have a lot more polygons and look more rounded and more lifelike and more realistic, but it's just ridiculous. And then like, I was looking at their profile scene, like, like what was, what else are they kind of just doing here to kind of just continue on like with the rage bay and like, I mean, I mean, do I have to say anything else right here? Just like, you know, complaining about Laura Croft not being like some ridiculous porn star 2D polygon thing or whatever, like, it's, and I, oh yeah, of course, you know, going on this podcast as well, recording, that would make a lot of sense. And what's this one probably saying like, go rule, go broke, or whatever like this. Yeah, see, exactly, like it's, I don't know, man, like some people, out, so it's just like, you can see that people like out here are deliberately trying to be like, I'm anti-woke, anti-DEI, and they're strictly doing it for clicks. That's, that's literally all it is right here. Like, look at this Master Chief model right here. Like, this doesn't look like a human right here. <laughs> and yet they're crying at the current Master Chief model, which is just straight up an asset ripped from Halo Infinite, 
is not accurate, but you didn't hear him crying about that with Halo Infinite. They even like went into Photoshop to like, look, I made him better. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> this doesn't make any sense. Like, it's monetized outrage. That's all it is, guys. Like, don't try to fall for this. Like, that's why so many people are out here doing this kind of stuff because they just they just want fake internet points and monetize outrage. It's ridiculous. And then it doesn't even make sense when you think about it as well. Like another, here's another uh, person out here being anti-woke, anti-DEI. You know, remember this tweet right here from uh, Nick, the JP Skittles. When he was talking about how he feels uncomfortable about making games with guns, like Call of Duty, Battlefield, or Rainbow Six Siege, because it kind of glorifies violence in a way, which kind of a weird tweet, yeah, but kind of makes sense. I can see where you're coming from. This thing they can work with Halo and sci-fi because it's detached enough. And then people started flaming him and then made him just basically shut down from any online discourse, which is exactly what you don't want to have happen. But the thing is that like, they're mad about that kind of this tweet right here. But the problem is that like, Halo you know, Infinite sandbox, it's pretty good. It's a pretty fun sandbox. If anything, Halo Infinite's multiplayer is probably the most fun multiplayer since Halo 3. I've even gone as far to say that uh, Halo Infinite sandbox or just gameplay in general would be Halo 3 if it was released in 2024. Like, what are we talking about here, guys? You're just making things up just to be mad about things. And it's just like, it's just absolutely ridiculous. Like all we've seen is a tech demo and people who are working at Halo and people are already mad. But you know what, man? People are gonna grift because it's easy monetization, right? Just fake outrage, get your monetization, get your clicks and, uh, well, I am hope you're happy with how you're living your life. Just know that the people that you're bullying online are like actual people. And if you want actually, if you want Halo to actually be better or be the way you want it to be, have an open, honest discussion about it. Don't try to farm outrage and clicks because you're not only hurting what you're actually trying to help, but of course, you're just trying to help yourself by making this type of content. We're gonna go back to talking about Halo in our next videos here, but I just, sometimes I feel like I just need to get off my chest because I've just seen this way too much. Like, yeah, it's a vocal minority a group of people who are doing this, but like, it's getting loud enough, it's going around enough that we just kind of have to talk about it. We'd like to stick with mainly when it comes to talking about the games, because that's what really matters. Uh, not all this external stuff that people have no basis of complaining about is kind of information. They're only complaining about it just to make clicks and get monetization, like I said. Anyways, guys, if you made it this far in the video. I know it was painful, but uh, I just feel like I needed to get off my chest with this whole thing. Uh, we're going to go back to the game stuff in our next video, guys. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to tap like, subscribe, and uh, I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out.